How do my artists welcome to the Solgaleo Ultra Challenge and today I will show you two different ways to beat it with they're the same team but one of them's using the complexity minus one so just showing the, you the difference and what happens because I beat it both ways without an issue but just one of them had the complexity minus one so I'll show you both just how it was done and you can decide which one you might want to check out which one you might want to try because if you use the complexity minus one that's a lot of coins you're spending a lot but to be honest it is a very good Pokemon I tried the item list just no just Definitely not. Items are very much needed for this one, although what you choose to use is entirely up to you. I went with the Mega Lucario because to me it was the best available one because it can get rid of disruptions. And it's just nice to have there. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to work around the disruption, such as here at the top, it would be nice, but that's just how that Lucario works. So it's fine. Got the Meloetta for the nosedive, just looking for some really great hits. I think it worked more this time than the um, Complexity Minus One go around. And also with Eshiram. They're just there to be able to get rid of the barriers when they crop up, but with the disruption delay, it's not too often just now, but it will come up quite a lot. It comes up towards the end. There's kind of a resurgence, close to about 7 moves left or so once the disruption delay stops, and it gives you a tiny glimpse into what it's like completely without items. If you want to go and try it just to see what some of the other disruptions are like, more feel free to entirely, but do not expect to beat it in the slightest. And in this run through, it's just it's trying to make those Meloetas match first off, and if there's no, you know, four matches or five matches for that, maybe the Lucario. Just seeing what will get great combos, great matches, as that's where you're going to beat this. It is with the combos that you will see all of the profit. So bring along the... See, here is the disruption. Very tricky to get around because when you've got something like the... The Gallade, it can be very difficult to make good matches. The highest ones I could really make during this section were three, and so when I was steamrolling it and it seemed like it'd be beaten with about ten moves left, that really, really brought it down quite a few. The Veshavam, it's good to have because it does go off quite a lot even if it are just three matches. It's mildly consistent because when the disruptions are there there isn't much opportunity for great big matches. But that was it beaten with three moves left. And at that there was 10% so not the best after spending what was that about 10, 11,000 coins? Certainly not the best. Could probably have beaten in quite a few more moves if you had some better luck with some of the abilities going off. So that was the first way. Here is the second one that I shall show you. And in this one it's just full, got the complexity minus one in there. Exactly the same team and I'd likely say exactly the same things. Although Veshiram doesn't actually perform in this one because it's... It's been sidelined with the complexity minus one, so it's just a, a free support stage. It's just a free Pokemon stage, which does make it a lot easier, a lot more um, likely to make pretty good combos all the time. If you wanted to bring along something like the Gengar, I would think that would probably work, as unless you somehow really, really mess up, you're not really going to see any disruptions except these first ones on the board, and you can always just wait them out, or the Gallade, you can probably get a little bit of luck there with it. 
So if you wanted to bring along the Gengar, I think it might actually work better. I don't have the coins to try it out to show you, but feel free to give it a shot. I think that could be pretty useful. I think that is a not too shabby idea for the team. Again, you're just making as many matches as possible and the combos are just flowing. It takes a couple of moves at most to beat this stage. It's completely overpowered. All of these items make it incredibly easy and when the Meloetta goes with the nosedive, makes it so much simpler. A lot of attack power on this team. There it is, 16 moves left, 43%, not shabby in the slightest, and able to catch it, even without a great ball. And to have a wee look at it, attack power 80 base is not terrible, and metal combo increases damage done by any steel types in a combo. I think this one will be very useful. But thank you very much for watching, and how do my Martists? Eggs! Eggs! E-double-G-S eggs! <laughs>